Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Dr. Wright here. And uh, this is a talk I'm preparing for the um, Venus and Lymphatic Society meeting uh, that's coming up in Chicago. Um, and so I wanted to share this with uh, the wider world. So sit tight and let's let's uh, let's begin. So I, I have received um, support from Koya and Tactile uh, previously, and they manufacture pumps, and that's my disclosure about this talk. So I'm going to go over the types of lymphedema, types of pumps, clinical indications for pumps, and uh, data on the effectiveness. That's the... So uh, there are... Um, multiple causes of lymphedema. Um, most people, uh, when they think of lymphedema, they think of primary lymphedema, which is a congenital or genetically uh, assigned edema with uh, that causes an, um, either absence of, uh, with absence of valves or, or structures leading to uh, inability to clear uh, lymph from an area. Um, but that is actually uh, the uh, the least or nearly the least common cause of lymphedema. The most common cause is actually from uh, chronic venous insufficiency. And then uh, an, another common cause, uh, the second most common, would be related to cancer therapy. Uh, for example, like with breast cancer and lymph node removal. Um, and then uh, lipedema and obesity are responsible for about 12% of lymphedema. So there are uh, two different types of um, uh, pneumatic pumps uh, that that use air 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 uh, pressure. Uh, the basic pump um, is works by just uh, stimulation um, to um, and then it, it it delivers the pressure and holds it over a period of time. Press and hold action, and then there's a, a, a advanced pump which uses. Uh, a, a multiple uh, series of um, of stimulations at, at one three second intervals, um, and uh, they they um, they both uh, stimulate lymph flow, and uh, they um, um, both are effective. Um, the uh, the advanced pump uh, all, all has a, also has a trunk component, um, so. That's the types of pumps. There's also a non-pneumatic, so uh, a pump that works um, uh, just um, by actually um, with these uh, night nitinol wires that, that receive an electrical impulse, which causes them to contract in a sequential. Um, and uh, this is a um, a lighter device can be worn while you're up and moving around, where the other devices so uh, would be wearing while. Uh, while you were uh, reclining, um, and so you can, um, um, you know, have muscle contraction to also help uh, with the uh, lymphatic clearance. Uh, cover coverage requirements. So uh, the Medicare coverage requirements uh, for a basic pump, the EO six five one, as uh, is primary diagnosis of primary or secondary lymphedema, and. Uh, one of the clinical findings of, of lymphedema, hyperkeratosis, hyperplasia, papillotomies, uh, deforming, uh, 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 skin deformity, skin breakdown, or lymphoma, um, and an unresponsive to a four week trial of uh, conservative therapy, compression, exercise, and then the And And then the advanced or the EO652 is all of the above, plus. Uh, uh, a forward trial of of the um, basic pump and um, involvement of the afternoon. So, um, what what are the so demonstrated um, health benefits of um, of pumps are um, and, and the the evidence shows that there's about an eighty percent reduction of the rate of cellulitis a 50% reduction in hospitalizations, 40% reduction of outpatient hospital visits, and um, reduction of a 34% uh, reduction of physical therapy use. Overall, um, um, about a 30, 
uh, 37% reduction in total costs related to uh, the length of demon care. So um, other studies have shown that there is a, a significant improvement in limb volume, uh, compression, quality of life, um, and an increase in compression garment compliance. Um, um, and uh, so the average limb volume redu reduction was 5%. Five, 5 uh, again, those reduced uh, cellulitis episodes and improvement in quality of life um, um, so, um, in all quality, uh, all quality life categories measured. Um, and then lymphedema, um, our pumps, compression pumps also are indicated for flebo lymphedema and venous stasis ulcers. So they, uh, they assist in healing stasis dermatitis and, uh, assist in healing of venous ulcer, ul ulcers. Um, and other types of ulcers uh, can act, can reduce wound healing time, um, and then these can be be used even when the wound is is leaking. Um, and then we just use a you know a chuck so um, an absorbent patent, um, area uh, absorbent pads over the uh, leaking uh, wound, and um, and then uh, in, in in then put the the uh, pump over it. Um, so, so conservative therapy plus uh, pumps uh, reduces costly uh, CV, uh, chronic venous insufficiency complications. So, um, so this shows there's a sixty nine percent reduction in the cost uh, uh, related to. Uh, the complications of chronic venous insufficiency, insufficiency with both CVI and uh, lymphedema. So that's awesome. Now, this is a study um, I, I was an auth the author of um, that showed that uh, compression pumps uh, can help uh, women with lipedema. Um, and so uh, the, we saw in this study that it, it decreased the leg size in the one with lipedema and decreased the leg pain. Um, and there was also improvements in quality of life, but they weren't, uh, they did not quite meet statistical significance. Uh, so all the experts agree, um, pumps should be considered for lymphedema management and lipedema management, I would add that. Um, and so 92% uh, um, of experts agree that these um, uh, pumps should be considered uh, as an add-on to the, the compression garment use, um, and especially in, in more advanced stages of lymphedema, um, and um, as well as referral to uh, CLT, um, those are all um, really helpful and necessary. So in summary, uh, compression pump indications, uh, it's indicated for lymphedema, um, chronic venous insufficiency, wound uh, healing, um, lipedema, and uh, venous laying ulcers. Um, so a lot of, lot of, um, lot of indications for these, uh, for these uh, pumps. And um, and they should be used more, in my opinion. How do we encourage patients um, to uh, to to use them more regularly? So one is you gotta you know share share the the data, share uh, how these can improve them, um, and then get them to experience it and buy into these results, and and then they will. They will become true believers and and use them regularly. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, I just, um, if you have any questions, you can contact uh, me at info at and um, and um, um, wish uh, wishing you all the best of health.